NIL benefits for college athletics. There are so many. And I'm going to talk very, very clearly about why to get it, why not to get it. And at the end, I'm going to give you the most phenomenal gift that if you are 18 years old or older, you need to see this video. It'll just start the entire financial framework of your life, right? You do this wrong. It'll take you seven years to recover. So stay tuned to the end. So there's three things I want to talk about. Number one, what is the benefits of NIL just in general? And actually give you some definitions of what it can and can't do. Number two, the intense power of building a personal brand and building it into a company. See, a lot of you, you have a lot of followers. You've been doing this your whole life. You've been on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. You've got a lot of followers. You don't have a database. Business owners make money because they own a database. So I'm going to talk about that. And how do you have a sustainable brand for the rest of your life? You've seen other pro athletes do it. Why is it that only a few professional athletes that have moved from the student athlete ranks actually keep their money and actually build a brand. It's they have the right company structure, which is the right bank accounts, and they have a database. So I'll get into that in just a moment. But I also want to talk about just managing your money. So I'm not an advisor. I'm an advocate for parents, students, and coaches to actually do this right. The problem I'm solving is broke. Only 3% of people at the end of their professional career, it does not matter the sport, have money. They end up being bellboy, bell captains, they actually waiters, bartenders, I don't know, but it doesn't work. They end up really worse. Why? Because they never met somebody in the beginning to give them some financial and business literacy. And most of you don't have it walking through your life and your parents don't either. So I wrote a book called makeyourkidsmillionaires.com. I would love to have you go grab a copy of it. It's only a year out, so I can't give it to you for free. I would, but I do want you to go to my site because I give you tons and tons of educational benefits. Never pay your kid an allowance. For all of you athletes, it's a great way to design your paycheck. So go grab that gift, grab those bonuses and implement it right away. So NIA, I'm actually going to read some of this because by definition, I don't know that a lot of you know it. I'm seeing the rules broke all over the place. So in the simplest terms, name, image, and likeness is a term. It describes the means through which college athletes are allowed to receive financial compensation. So they can get it from a car dealership locally. My son did a trade with some glasses. I think there was Viper glasses. Barstool athletes are giving, you know, tons and tons of swag away. So sometimes it's just them giving gifts of their gear so other people can, you know, you wear their brand. More critically are those who actually give you money. And there's collectives that give you money as well. NIL refers to, again, the use of a name, an image, and a likeness through marketing and promotional different endeavors. So I know a lot of guys who get NIL money from bars, from restaurants, by just, you know, doing an ad on Twitter, their local Facebook, their local, you know, social media about the happy hour at a different club, about coming out to a, a certain restaurant. So lots of that kind of stuff happens all over towns in smaller towns. And like there are literally athletes being given vehicles, full suits, full wardrobes. It's amazing how much is going on. Millions and millions, in fact, billions of dollars are being given away. So at the same time, it's important to understand NIL, do, what it does not mean. The NCAA rules still prevent schools from paying players directly. So I'm going to go into more detail and really a definition. So it's important to realize also and understand what NIL does not mean. The NCAA rules still prevent schools from giving players direct money other than scholarship money. And more importantly, which I think this is highly misunderstood, and there's a fine line, I know this being walked out there, are that coaches specifically cannot offer money to players that are in high school to recruit them to come play for their team. Mm, I know it happens a little bit. Athletes also cannot receive compensation directly from the university based on their athletic achievements. So the NCAA still intends to keep it an amateur sport process and not pay the students. So how does the NIL work? It works with local Typically, boards, trustees, boosters, and donors are usually what's running these. And usually some local business person or law firms in town create what's called collectives. And the collectives receive the money and then through whatever their terms and, and dissemination actually decide, is it the player status? Is it the player's you know, potential? Is it their already achieved you know, structure? And then they decide from the collective how to give the kids the money. So the benefits of NIL are enormous for the student player. Here's the problem. Most most of you haven't been taught that this is a business. This isn't just you, student athlete, yay, I get some extra money. Even if you got 100,000 in NIL money, you're gonna have a tax consequence at the end of the year. So how do you avoid that? You become a company. So there's you and your personal credit under your social security number. Now, if you just do a sole proprietor, you're still under your social security number. If that doesn't work, you need to become a company. I would love to give you a free strategy session to talk to you. So in the link below, you're gonna click and get a 
an appointment with one of my top senior strategists about what entity you should be, given your state, given where your parents are, given what your goals are. Are you going to be moving back? Are you going professional? Like, what are your goals? This isn't just go to a dot com cheap, you know, place or secretary of state and go click some buttons and hope you got it right. I want to teach you the behavior of having an entity and a corporate structure. So there's you and your company and your company now can get corporate credit, which you want to start building at 18 years old. What I'm thinking I'm going to share with you at the end of the video and actually give you a gift is your credit and your corporate credit. It is imperative you don't screw this up or you will be shot for seven years, meaning it's going to take a lot to recover. I have met student athletes right away their freshman year, sophomore year. They tried to get credit cards. They didn't know how to do it. I mean, you have to remember between 18 and 22 years old, you're going to be pursued between 1,200 to 1,800 offers to get a credit card. And most of you have no idea how to get it or how to choose what's the right one for you. So I'm going to back up a little bit to the brand and the database. So when you start your company, so you've been training most of your life, whatever sport that is, tennis, swimming, football, basketball, baseball, whatever your sport is, lacrosse, and you get to college, you become a student athlete, you start getting NIL money. At 18, in my opinion, you need to get a company. And that company probably should be with one of the parents, if not both of your parents. Why? For those of you who send money home to your family, it's income, and now it's more income to them. The whole thing is tax strong. And I don't think a lot of you know, and I know you don't know that. So when you want to go buy mom or dad a house because you've made it to the pros, now, like, you have a massive tax consequence of them being paid, and then the way you pay them creates a tax consequence for them. I have a very different playbook about how I do it. So I created the rules. I did it with my son. I've done it with many other families where the families become a partnership. And that way the money actually flows through corporate structure that allows you the most deductions. In addition, we help you get a database. With the database, you actually can monetize people for the rest of your life. I've had a database since I was 21 years old. Bob Proctor said, get a database. Whoever monetizes it the most is going to win. 21, I didn't know what it was either. But I can promise you, I've had millions and millions of people through my database which has made me hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So athlete or not, I want you to start building your infrastructure of your life, incorporated with a database. If you go to laurel.club, see what it does. L-O-R-A-L.club. It's going to send you straight into my database. I'm going to give you two tickets to an event where you can come learn to make money, understand what it takes to be a millionaire, and then sell some stuff. You say, what do I sell? Well, I have a pro basketball player right now I'm working with, and he does very specific shooting camps, strength training camps, speed camps. He does all sorts of different camps. He works with personal athletes and makes between 75, 125 an hour. You can do camps in the summer. There's so many things you can build around this that upon leaving the sport, if you don't go pro, your financial base is set. Before I talk about credit, which is probably one of the most critical things that is underserved and under talked about, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Click that notification button. I want you here all the time. Share this with your team. Share this with your coaches. Share this with your parents. This is serious. This is your financial base for the rest of your life. I can guarantee you, and this is a guarantee. See, my Millionaire Maker book, I give you a three to five year plan to be a millionaire. Some of you are going to be a millionaire overnight. Do you know what to do with your money? Do you know how to mitigate taxes? So I have put an expert team, over 28 financial experts around me. And when you work with us, you get the team. And we all come to that for you and your family, help you set your structure right, your database right, your bank accounts right, credit cards right. Let's do dig into that. Credit cards, how do you get them? I'm going to give you a free link to about an hour video that is me and one of my top, top credit experts, how to get personal credit, how to get corporate credit. You're going to click on this link and go get it. It's over at financialfitnesstrainers.com, which is a site for coaches, players, and parents. And that's where you're going to have very specialized information that digs deeper because your situations are unique. Credit's critical and you can build corporate credit by getting the right corporate credit cards. And I want you on this channel to go to my search bar and search for Credit cards, search for debt, good debt, bad debt, understand it. Good debt is a full arbitrage. So I'll give you one lesson on good debt and then we're gonna end for today and I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Good debt arbitrage is like this. You can get a loan, $100,000, it's 0% for 21 months. You could get a loan that's 2%. Why would you ever pay off two or 3% money? That's cheap. Why don't you get the money, put the $100,000 to work at 12, 15, 20%. Now, yes, you might be paying 3% for that money, but you're making 15, last I checked, that's called an arbitrage. 12% margin, you get 12 points in the middle. That's what I want you doing with your money. And then as you build enough, start buying some doors, apartments, duplexes, fourplexes, not a home, right? unless you're gonna rent the rooms, because you aren't gonna make enough money. As you can tell, I have just a few strategies for you, coaches, families, parents, let me help you. Go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. Make sure you tell our team when you call in that you are a player, coach, or a parent, and you will get directly into my personal cell phone. Talk to you tomorrow.